I just, it was nice opening a new school because it was like, this is, we started on the old SharePoint and I really didn't do a lot with the old SharePoint. And I just said, when we, when we uh, did the rollout, this is the new SharePoint, you're required to use it. So I just made it a requirement. I didn't give options. It was like, we're rolling it out. This is what you're gonna use. This is how you're gonna use it. I gave them some ideas. Um, some grade levels went a little bit farther. Some just did the, the, the minor things this year. They'll add on next year. So I sort of just made it part of what we're going to do in the policy and procedures of the new school. This is how we're going to do business. This is what we're going to use. Um, it was a very seamless transition, and I'm not so sure if it's because we were a new school and we didn't have a lot on our SharePoint for Sunridge because we were open you know, in August and we rolled out the new SharePoint in January. So there wasn't too much on there yet. So I don't know if you're an older school how that's going to be affected, but it was a very seamless transition from taking our stuff from the old SharePoint to the new SharePoint. The other plus that everyone liked a lot was that you can access it anywhere. You don't have to be on an OCPS computer. You can access it at home. If a t teacher forgets something, she wants to look at the lesson plans, whatever, you can access it wherever you are. So that's what we, re those are the two like major things we really liked about it. And the teachers, I think because they can access it anywhere, that um, upped our use of it too, because they do, they use it at home and, and they access it from home. The first thing I, I want to share, um, and if you have questions, just stop me anytime. Um, the first thing, we just, we're in elementary, so we just did the, the standard kind of, you know, first grade, second grade, third grade, and then we added some. Like, I added a tab for leadership, because there's several documents, the second one, there's several documents that we put together as a leadership team, and we, you know, my AP needs access to, my CRT needs access, so we made a leadership team tab that we could just sort of go in there and go through the documents and add stuff and delete stuff and have a living document and then post it to the other SharePoint. So that's sort of a, a, a tab that I added later on that I really liked. Um, Media Center we added, um, Special Area and CRT, and I'll show you why we added CRT in a minute because of calendars. Um, we didn't intend to add that, but when we started seeing the features and started using it, we thought, wow, we need some place to hold some things that are school-wide and curriculum pieces. So the first thing, um, we, use the, we use the master calendar, and that's the only calendar for the school. Everyone has to view the master calendar, and that's it. That, that's the master calendar for the school. Everything's put on there. Um, I gave rights to my leadership team. And my leadership team puts things on as needed. And I, I'm sure you all know you can um, sync it, thank you, sync it with Outlook. So I always have the master calendar and my calendar up, and it makes it really, really easy um, for the school. My staff, my teachers, they usually just use this calendar. This is their home page. They open their desktop, and it's always to the master calendar so everyone knows what's going on. But we did add some other di different calendars, and I got this from a school after we started. Every grade level has their own calendar. So any grade level, third's a good one, they used it. <laughs> you have to go but every calendar, every grade level had a calendar, so they could put things on their own, for their own grade level. Field trips, even though they were on the master, they put their team meetings, they put their PLCs, they put things like that. So any, um, any, so they had all their own uh, calendars, and I liked it that it, when you put it, popped it right up. I can't remember which school I copied this from, but the calendar popped right up when you open it, so everyone can see it right away, um, and that was a good feature. So when you did the calendars, did, did, did all your calendars feed into like the cafeteria just because of field trips and then the cafeteria having to know as manager, you know, what, when to leave search for their field trips? She has access to it, yes. Okay. Yes. So she can see the master calendar just like anyone else in the school. Yes. Yeah. Um, the, then the other calendars that we added that we really liked, Media Center, we added a calendar so that teachers could sign up to use the flex time. She had one calendar where she had classes scheduled in and um, then you have to go back to like May or I think May is a, probably a good one because there's nothing on for June. But she added things and then teachers could go on and see what lesson she was teaching, what other people were going in, um, and then she, they could just go ahead and all the teachers had access to the media and, she, and the media specialist did too. So if you wanted to come in on the 13th, you could click, put, and everyone knew you were coming to the media center on the, you know, for whatever. If you wanted to put a lesson, whatever you wanted to do, if you wanted to just check out. So we added 
added that right away because we thought, well, this is a good way to keep everybody informed because we started the year where she did a spreadsheet and she'd email the spreadsheet every week to all the, and it was like, "Uh uh-uh, this isn't working. So we put a calendar on there and that made it much easier and everyone was in the loop. Now, CRT is where we added a lot of our calendars. We sort of started to get, after we saw how the calendar was working for the media center, we got like, this is great. We can do this for so many other things. So we have a science lab calendar that we have for the science lab because, again, we had a sheet in front of our science door and you were going up there and, sign, you know, signing out to, to I want to go to the lab this time or whatever, and you were having to go up to the second floor because that's where our science lab is. So we added a science lab calendar, and, again, you can just, you know, anybody on the staff can sign up to have their class whenever they want. Um, we have two computer labs. We just put the upstairs computer lab on it because that's the free computer lab that has the flex time. Our downstairs is used by our, um, we have it on the special area wheel, so that wasn't available, we, but we could have had a downstairs and an upstairs. So again, the computer lab was a way we thought, this is great, we're going to utilize this as a calendar too, because then you can sign up, everyone knows who, what time everyone else is going in. Some um, fifth grade, because fifth grade was the FCAT uh, testing grade this year on computer, they were the one grade level that had a consistent time all the time so they could get in and do all their Envision math and do all their uh, their math tests online so that they were prepared for FCAT. So they were the only grade really I think that had consistent throughout the year. The rest just signed up as needed. Um, we used it for intervention and enrichment and those kinds of things and they could sign up there. Then we also um, had a laptop cart calendar. You can see we sort of got into calendars. Um, and we have a roving um, laptop uh, cart that, again, people, it had flex time, so people could sign up for that. So then we used that calendar when they signed up and whatever it was for. And, and I had a great CRT and media specialist who would sort of help get that lab to where it needed to be if it was in another room. And then you could also see where it was before you if you had to pick it up. So that worked really well. So the calendars, I think, we are utilized a lot all the time. At the very, I'd say about in March, we added one more calendar that's from our master, from our um, homepage. We added an additions calendar also. So the person, I have a front desk person, um, and because that's the way they have to come into the school. So she was having parents just come in and say, oh, I'm supposed to be visiting this room. I'm supposed to be visiting this room. And, And since we were new, we didn't know all the parents yet. We didn't Um, know who was going where so we put up an additions calendar and the teachers go on there and they put where they're you know what parents going to volunteer like every Monday if Mrs. Smith's going to come on here you know they put her there so the front office knew all the time that person could just access that calendar and know what additions were in the building what rooms they were in who was supposed to be signed up Um, I know this doesn't happen at your school but um, we had a few parents who would want to come in and just hang out, not really have a purpose, and want to sort of go from door to door to door to class to class and interrupt the teachers when maybe testing was going on or those kinds of things. So this solved all that. You know, oh, I, oh you're not on the calendar? Did you, you know, have a scheduled appointment? Did Mrs. So-and-so know you were coming? So that eliminated, eliminated all that, and then the parents began to really like it too because they knew, I'm on the calendar, I was expected, you're not going to ask me why I'm here whatever I'm supposed to be here and you know whose room I'm going to so that really helped and we like I said we added that later on yes I had a question for like when you have the flex time on calendar like for the laptop Mm -hmm. class where do you put in like where did the teachers put in the request how did they get on the calendar who maintained that The question was, we have the flex uh, calendars for the laptop cart and like the science lab. How did the teachers get on? They can click just just like Mike did. You just click on CRT. So if you want to say, I want to go to the science lab or the lab, I want the laptop cart, I just clicked on the calendar. And then at the bottom of the calendar, if I want to do the, well, that's a Sunday, but if I, you just have a little add button, they click on it and they can type right in. Now they have permissions to do that. So when you set it up, you're going to have to give all you know all the staff that you want to access it, and they just type it in, and then when you they close it out, it automatically uploads, and it's it's really quick. It's just on the honor system not to take someone else out. out and yes, yes, okay. we didn't have any trouble with that. 
I didn't even think of that to tell you. No, we did. Once you were on the calendar, it was like you signed up. Please be respectful and not take over. If there was a if there was a conflict, they usually emailed and said, "Hey, I see you've signed up for eight o'clock. Are you really going to go? I would really need it." And then they just worked it out that way. Okay, go ahead and take my time or something like that. Um, the next area that we use it a lot is in our documents. Um, in the, in the, on the main page, in, in our shared documents, we, don't, we haven't transferred everything to the master. The shared documents are what we're using this year. The master documents are like things that we're going to keep forever and ever and ever. And I'm sure Mike told you that. So, so since our shared is full, our master, we haven't moved anything. The one area that we really liked it was progress monitoring. I put everything up there for pro all the forms and all the uh, information the teachers needed to, to progress monitor their students so they could just go and do it. And then what happened is after they did it, they, most of them did electronically and then they just saved it to SharePoint so everyone could view it and they didn't have to turn in paper and pencil data monitoring and you know uh, things like that. To me, I could just pull it up and say, oh yeah, I see what your kids did on FAIR. Or, I see, uh, you know, on benchmarks and things like that, and they had it organized. So we put all our monitoring pieces there, and everyone liked that, and everyone used that a lot because we, we have, I have kid talks, which are data meetings all the time, and we could just pull that up and look at the data without having the teachers have to write it down and turn it in and then, you know, do that. So we use that a lot. Um, the other area that we didn't use, but I just got the idea from another principal when I was at the academy last week is, um, RTI, so we'll be adding that up. Should they have all their RTI documents so that the teacher can fill out the form to request the RTI and everyone can view it and see the progress. Um, so we'll be adding that. That's our next thing we're going to add for documents. Um, the other piece I have, um, we have safety checklists up there too. Everyone goes to the, the uh, shared documents. They do their safety checklist and we maintain it on there for the year so again we don't have to have any paper and pencils. Um, we have a couple things. We just started like Five Star School that we, you know, people uploaded pictures for the person who was developing it and doing things like that. So we add things as we need them for that. Um, the Sensational is like our weekly newsletter that goes out to the teachers, and that's what we keep in our leadership. That's one of the things we keep in our leadership file, and we add things to that weekly newsletter, and then we post it up here, and the teachers can either view it or download it or print it or however they want, and that's just, you know, the, what, you know what's going on during the weeks and things they have to do, when to turn in things and notice them and things like that. So that's another big piece, and they're expected to go on and... Um, and, and get it here and view it here without having uh, me to email it to everyone or, or uh, post it out. Um, lesson plans, every single one of the grade levels has um, their lesson plans posted there. Um, a lot of times they posted things they want to share. Um, everyone could view everybody else's things and, you know, utilize them. Yeah, for, and, and so what they did is they posted and then, you know, second grade could go down and look if they wanted. Uh, and, you know, kindergarten could look if they wanted, so it was sort of a, a vertical alignment where people could look at all the data and the, what's going on for every grade level and their lesson plans. And that way there was nothing, you know, that they had to turn into me also again. It was like if I wanted to see their lesson plans, they were up there. We use the district lesson plan template, so that's what they posted up here um, for me, and it was easy to see what they were doing and what strategies they were using and, and when we would have... Um, I could use that when I had my observations too. Here's the lesson plan that, you know, this is what you were doing and we would discuss those. So we had lesson plans up there all the time too. And then every other grade level, this was a grade level, they sort of decided what they wanted to do, put up there as a team. I didn't say you had to put things up there. I did say that's the keeper of the lesson plans. So the, the lesson plans, um, was that everybody had the same template? Is that you saying? Mm -hmm. like. We're getting a new one this year. I just went to the academy, so it's going to be a nicer one. But yeah, I used the one. I used the one that was just the, the older version that the uh, OCPS. Yeah, so you can see, any one will be fine. This one by curriculum, the CIA lesson plan. I don't know if you remember that one. It was from two years ago. So we used that because we didn't have anything to replace it. But we're, we are getting a new template. So we'll, then they'll again put it up there, and it's it's a nicer template actually than this. Um, so so that the district is is rolling out this summer. So when you go to that the instructional or the leadership academy, 
can't remember what they're calling it, but when you go there, you'll see the new lesson plan template that they have there. So that'll be up there. Um, so again, each grade level could do what, you know, what they would like with their site and put what they wanted to put up there. Um, some, were, some were skimpier than others. Um, some people got into it more, you know, you have those tech people on your, oh yeah, we're going to post this, we're going to post this. Some people got into doing, putting their assessments there and, you know, different things that they share, like thinking maps that they did at the unit on, and they put all that. So it just depended on the, uh, the grade level. As the other grade levels started to see what some of the, you know, the great things that were up there, they're starting to catch on and they're starting to add. I think I only have one grade level that's, that's still skimpy. Yes. Now that you've played around with it and, and used it for a little while, has your expectations changed from the beginning? Oh, definitely. I, I, I have to tell you, I'm, I'm a visual person and I'm, I like paper. I mean, I do. Sometimes I'll print things out because I like to. I don't like to read them on the screen. But this has changed the way. Yes, the way I do business. I don't have them turned very much in at all. And I used to be one of those people. Turn it in. Turn it in. Turn it in. And I view it. And I view it. And I view it. And since this, when I knew I had to make a commitment to using it and viewing it, that I couldn't ask my staff to do it. Since this, it's made me. You know, it, it's really shortened a lot of things I've done, and it's helped me a lot because now I'm not going through all those paper and having stacks of paper. The data's on here. I don't need the data on a piece of paper. It's on our SharePoint, so it's less. Yeah, <laughs> so it's lessened all my huge, my um, yes, yes, and my notebooks. My area superintendent used to tell me, "Don't bring your notebooks, Janice, please," because I'd come in with my data notebooks. You know how it is, and you and it. And this is so much easier. So yes, it's changed a lot the way. Um, the expectation is just put it up there and I'll see it when I wanna go, I'll look at it and I'll see it. And I do monitor it. Um, I think they thought we weren't going to. I mean, I go in and look at the lesson plans and I'll give them some emails. I see on your, you know, science lesson plan, you're using this STEM, STEM activity, great. You know, when is it? Can I come in and, you know, observe during that time? And um, so it, it, it's made them a little bit, um, you know, held accountable, and they know I'm looking at it. Um, the last, the one of the other things we use it for a lot are the requests, and that's off the home page. Um, on the the resource links, we keep adding to the resource links, and there's some requests there that we put. Um, Again, the custodial request we added from another school. I, I, I like to use other schools' ideas. When I saw other schools having stuff, I thought, we can use that. So, you know, look at everyone's. I know they send you everyone's site. Look at everybody's site because they have some great ideas that I didn't think of, and I'm like, this is great. We can use this. It'll make our lives easier. So I went ahead and added things. We added, um, we added the telephone extension list because I never know what the you know, the three digit things are. So we added that. And um, so we, we did, uh, kept adding to this. And this is, you know, everything's a work in progress. As you discover that you wanna add things, you add them. Um, the tech request we added to this, even though it, it we had to uh, go to back to our old site for that, but our tech guy put it there so they didn't have to keep one, two SharePoints open. It was just one SharePoint. So everything they need really is on here. If they, you know, the resource links were generated for us and we just added a few. Um, but those are great too. Uh, we don't have, maintenance has helped us a lot in custodial so that we don't have to, um, you know, use paper and pencil or, you know, it's, they can check and see what the requests are. So we use it for the uh, requests. Um, I can't, I think that's about it. Um.